Because this may not have happened if not for an incident that I avoided 19 years ago. I almost got killed. I was going to Temple University at the time. And after a workout that I had on campus at the gym, this tall English fellow who was also a student there asked me if I wanted to join the crew team. Hey fellas, I want you to take a long look at me. <laughs> Can you picture me as a part of any crew team? Have you ever seen a brother, like in the history of the sport of crew, like in that robo? I mean, I'll even demonstrate it if I must, man. Just so that, you know, then just so that if you have seen it, maybe I jog your memory. Have you ever seen this? Have you ever heard blades in, blades down, power 10? You know how I know those terms? I Google them, all right? Because brothers don't do that kind of stuff. We don't roll, we don't play crew, we don't, you know, we don't do anything aquatic, actually. Man. It'd be hard for us to get a brother to go to the beach, much less join a crew team. So the only conclusion I could come to is that these motherfuckers were ready to perform a coup de gras on my back at in a boat, knowing that out there in the water, I'd be completely fucking helpless. And I think that that's fucked up, because I didn't do anything to anybody. It was like my first month on campus and shit. But motherfuckers, mm, I'll tell you, man. I don't know if you know this or not, but I feel like nothing's sacred, and it's for the reason of me coming upon the realization that Martin Luther King Jr. was not only a great civil rights activist, but a rampant womanizer. And I kind of feel like that sort of like minimizes like you know like what his, like what really was his dream then, if that's the case. You know, like 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 did he have to edit his dream before that famous speech actually took place? Was it at what point was the speech actually supposed to go down something like I want all the children of all the races and all the colors all across America to join hands in unity? One day I believe that this can happen, and one day I believe that I can place my hand on the other side of the bottom of a voluptuous Caucasian woman. And then a few seconds later, like, you know, he rehearsing this shit in front of Malcolm X, and Malcolm X is like, nigga, you know you can't say that shit, man. Like, that, this is not gonna fly. It's just a thought. But we gotta get the fuck out of here. So, I wanna get out of here on this. I wanted to let you know that the first thing I'm gonna do is have a smoke when I get out of here. And you were bringing up math before, okay, so I have a math question for you, okay? It's, it's kind of a... It's, so it's kind of a tricky map, okay? Not exactly an algebra. But how many people do I like to have around me when I'm taking my break outside and I'm enjoying a smoke? How many people? You don't have to be the only one to answer. Anybody else want to take a gander as to how many people I like to have around me? You. <laughs> Fuck it, a genius. Math savant you are. And you know, the thing is that I am a really interactive person and I live a really interactive life. You know, so those seven minutes that I smoke that cigarette, and yes, I know that it takes seven minutes exactly, it, you know, like, I, I just want it to be between me, I just want it to be between me and my story. And not only did I get portrayed, but I got portrayed at the most oddest of time. I start my day at five o'clock in the morning, so it's quarter to five. Okay, I'm up for the sons and the sparrows. And I'm thinking if, if there's any time that I'm going to be able to smoke alone, it's at this time. But no. Some dude pops up out of nowhere and he's a guy that opens up a place not too far from where I open up. And he's like, yo, man, what's up? How you doing? And all of this and that. He was like, yo, man, I haven't seen you in a minute. Yo, you been doing good? You been doing good? Now on the exterior, I'm just saying, yeah, hey, what's up, man? Cool, I haven't seen you in a minute or blah, blah, blah. You know, kind of being on the on the 
inside. I'm the bump ghost from the movie Ghost. And I'm looking at this motherfucker internally like, Who sent you? Who sent you? Get off my bench! I'm fat in it and I'm shoving him like in my mind and shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But like I, I held my composure. I held my composure, but that's really how I felt in that moment. Now how the fuck can I not have a smoke by myself in pitch darkness at 4.45 in the fucking morning? You know what I mean? What you think I 